What's up, everybody? This is Martin Reyes, a.k.a. The Nurse Ninja, talking to you today about the acute retroviral syndrome. Um, day one that you get infected, you don't see any signs and symptoms, nor do you find any uh, replicating DNA. Uh, but by two weeks, day 14, the RNA of the virus starts to replicate rapidly, and it turns into DNA. Um... The signs and symptoms are generalized lymph adenopathy and damage to the intestinal lining is very quick. Um, labs, like antiviral labs, cannot be detected for another six weeks to six months. So we're talking about a month and a half to six months before any test can actually see if there are, uh, you know, virus uh, virus if the titer, virus titers are actually detectable so you won't even be able to like um, confirm it until that time that's why HIV is very um, very dangerous note during this time the patient is highly contagious even though they cannot find any labs that person is very contagious at that stage and just to let you know the T4 cell the uh, T cell T helper cell um, CD4 is actually what you're going to be measuring um, and what and once it goes below 200 mil cubic millimeters uh, you're going to find that the virus titers are going to increase rapidly and immune competence is going to decrease why is that because at this time all the, the viral cells the virus cells that are latent or replicating in the t4 cells are going to at, at this point what they're doing is they're like uh, leaving the the host cell and they're looking for you know new cells to infect new t uh, t4 cells to infect and upon doing that they're going to rupture the cell membrane of the t4 cell that they're leaving from thus killing that cell so you're going to find a sharp decrease in the t4 cells less than 200 milli cubic millimeters and at the same time, the virus titer is going to increase because now they're out of the cell, now they're detectable. And once they kill the other T4 cells, not to mention the T4 cell that they just left, um, you know, now the normal flora, the normal, the, the, the opportunistic bacteria in your body, now they can thrive, now they can take over and do damage to your body. So you're going to find things like candid candidiasis, cryptosporidiosis, cryptococcosis, toxoplasmosis, herpes simplex or herpes zoster virus for the elder people, cytomegalovirus. Number one is pneumocystis hirovi pneumonia and mycobacterium tuberculosis or TB, commonly known. Uh, mycobacterium avium complex. These are the first infectious diseases that you're going to see. So that's candidiasis is thrush and you got the toxoplasmosis, herpes simplex, cytomegalovirus, those usually infect, uh, are related to like OB and you know, obstetrics. Uh, TB is, is like, if people have TB from previous exposure, but they were not in, not, um, they never manifested the, uh, the signs and symptoms on a secondary exposure to TB, now especially with a weaker immune system, this can trigger tuberculosis to come out. Um, secondary cancers also can come out, uh, like Kaposi's sarcoma, Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma can result, uh, cervical dysplasia or cervical cancer. Cervical cancer actually is the one that actually can replicate because the T4 cells are the ones that um, get rid of the cancer cells, tumor cells, you know, things like that. But if the T4 cells are gone, now those cells can replicate and all that stuff. So... Most women with HIV don't really die from HIV or AIDS because now with the heart therapy drugs, they're living longer. But if they don't take the heart therapy drugs, um, you know, consistently, then things like cervical cancer can actually kill them quicker. So um, other conditions are pelvic inflammatory disease or PID and the human papillomavirus. So it's still very important for uh, the women to get their pap smear tests and all that stuff, and if you have like a, um, uh, what do you call it, UTI, you know, if you feel like something like that, check yourself out right away. Uh, and, you know, basically, the opportunistic 
infectious diseases, secondary cancers, and other conditions are more likely to, um, you know, to overwhelm your body when you have an HIV infection, autoimmune disease, because your body cannot fight off these diseases like they normally do. Thank you very much. I hope this helped you a little bit. This is Martin Reyes, the Nurse Ninja. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know what it is. Have a good day.